what firearms are you interested in? Um, gosh, that's a great question. I'm very, very interested in the new revolver style rifles that are coming out. Really interested in those. Um, really interested in the lever action uh, technology that's taking place. Like, you know, it was Henry was the first to do kind of a tactical level lever action rifle. And I thought that was super cool. And then, of course, a few others came out with it. But what I'm seeing lately is um, like magazine fed, you know, like 223 um, lever action rifles that take magazines. Uh, very cool concept that have like a tactical grip that you put flashlights and then red dots and stuff on it. Uh, I think that's great. I'm very interested in one of those. Um, I think that's super cool. Anything that's new, uh, I always like to go to SHOT Show for the innovation. Like I, you know, if somebody's just making another, you know, kind of here's another polymer handgun, you know, it's like, that's, you know, that's cool. But, you know, I like to see the things that nobody else is doing or uh, just the innovation is what I really like. Yeah, yeah. Um, there's a lot of innovation, I think, that gets uh, purchased by larger corporations <clears throat> and then buried in their patents and things like really? that. Just to yeah. Make sure uh, nobody else builds that. Right. That's uh, terrible. There are other th companies do it all the time, buy up smaller companies with some really cool ideas and then um, either sell the ideas or sit on those ideas. Sometimes they come up later, uh, mm -hmm. decades later, sometimes down uh, companies like, okay, yeah, let's go back and see if we can tweak this and tinker this and maybe make it a little better or something, but. That's interesting because there were some uh, really interesting sh semi-automatic shotguns, uh, kind of like the, the, the Mossberg Shockwave, but semi-automatic that were coming out a while back. I thought, that's awesome, I need me one of those. But it was smaller companies that were making them, but now they don't make them anymore, and it's a, it's bigger companies that make them. And I wonder if that's something yeah. like that that took place. Yeah, Because like I was like, well, where'd all those go? And it's big companies making them now. Yeah, yeah. so it's a, small guy starts with a really cool idea and it gains some traction it gains the attention of these big corporations and they're like maybe not this year but we can see ourselves doing something with this on the 50 year plan or later uh, <laughs> let's go ahead and uh how much can we pay you for this idea so yeah interesting so Oftentimes, and that's because I never even thought about that. Because there's been so many guns uh, that I've seen, you know, going to shot show over the years that never really amounted it. Like they kind of came and then they were gone. And you're like, well, whatever happened to that thing? Um, I wonder if that's a big piece of it. Like that's kind of why you're not able to access those guns is because other companies are purchasing up their yeah, it, patents. It, it happens. I mean, yeah. For a while, like there was one company that was known for doing double stack 1911s para ordnance, mm -hmm. um, and then they were purchased, and all of a sudden those double stack 1911s just nobody really thought about them anymore, unless you were doing competitive shooting, and then you were either building your own. You really were building your own. You'd buy a frame from a company that was just making the frames and then you'd finish it out yourself to build your own custom competition handgun. Or then you got a company uh, like, it's Staccato now, formerly STI, that would do stuff like that. Other companies were doing that too, mm -hmm. but it, it wasn't as mass produced as when Para was doing it, or is reasonable. Those are darn expensive too. Yeah, yeah. The, the the STI staccatos those carry a, a uh, heavy price tag. price tag <laughs> that is out of some of our reach. Uh -huh. um, and it is what it is. The the para ordinance of their day, they were pricey for the time, but they weren't uh, astronomically pricey. Uh, you could find them used on the secondhand market at a much more reasonable price point than you ever could those STI or staccato newer mm. type ones. So, uh, yeah, that stuff is, it's cool to see. <laughs> it's so cool to see. Um, but So yeah. maybe the trick is when they come out, get it while you got it, because it might not be around. Uh, yeah. Um, and I guess, it, I'm just guessing here, because I, I never thought about this until you started talking about it, was my guess is too, is that's why 
um, a lot of times those guns that come out for a little bit and then they disappear, um, they, then they just kind of, they're gone for a little bit, but then somebody else is making them a little bit later. Yeah. And, uh, so uh, Sig Sars, what was it Sig that did the mosquito and then it came back as the firefly um but sig had the patent on it for a while they allowed it to go to somebody else and so somebody else starts making it uh, and then somebody else picks it up later and and comes out modifies or changes it makes it something in there that oh, like okay all right well the original had this it didn't quite work as well. Let's redo it. We'll re-release it. It's a new name and um, a new company is taking it. So they usually don't take over the same model name on those most of the time if it's mm -hmm. a new company. But you, you can get the stuff that is so dang similar, in fact, that <laughs> some parts will even swap from A to B. So and totally different manufacturers. Yes. So interesting. Yes. But, but the parts can swap the same. That's... There, there's a lot of that that goes on in uh -huh. the firearms industry. Are there probably, I think there's a lot of that that goes on in the automotive industry too. <laughs> <laughs> sure, probably a lot of industry. I, yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's a good idea. Let's buy that and then bury it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody else should have this technology but us. That's right. That's yeah. right. Yeah, no. 